community acupuncture. I was really concerned about the state of affairs in the, the world, the planet, and I wanted to do something that would make it an impact that would help people. And uh, after doing some, you know, soul searching and working with some counselors, I came up with acupuncture. So I went in, I was just curious, you know, I wanted to find out about it, so I went and got some treatment for that. But what I never told my acupuncturist about was that I had a hernia on my left side that I had operated on, and there was one on my right side that cleared up with the acupuncture treatment. After about four months, the pain and the swelling had gone away, and I've never had surgery since. And what I find was that uh, athletes respond to acupuncture really well. They tend to get better faster than the average patient population. People who are paying attention to you know, the amount of water they drink, the proper nutrition, and they're getting exercised, those patients get better quicker. They respond really well to acupuncture. And you know, if you're an athlete, you're bound to get some sort of injuries, either from you know contact or from repetitive strain. And acupuncture is really good for those types of things. The basis of diagnosis in acupuncture is the pulse and the tongue. So the pulse diagnosis is done at the wrist and there are three positions and I'm feeling for the relative strength and weakness of all the pulses on both sides and they relate to 12 main organs. And I look at the tongue and that's a little like reflexology. There are areas of the tongue that relate to different organs. The coat tells me one thing, the shape, the color, any cracks in different areas. So you put all that together and it gives you a sense of which organs are in balance or out of balance. And by knowing that and knowing which meridians run where, I can select points that help to encourage the body's natural healing mechanisms, help to restore homeostatic balance. So this is Marley, she's my daughter. I've been treating her since she was five years old. And um, today she's coming in because her ankles hurt. She's actually my best patient because when I'm about to treat her, she always knows to relax and she just gets calm. And that actually helps the, the, the process be even less painful. John and I were highly recommended to Dave to help with our ongoing back pain. My sciatic nerve pain was dramatically decreased and I felt that acupuncture really enabled the energy in my own body to essentially help heal itself. Acupuncture also helped with my headaches, anxiety, and muscle aches throughout my treatment. John's back pain was diminished and he experienced relief for several days. As Marley demonstrates, the needles are painless and the process is simple. Lay back in a comfortable chair and relax.
and I believe in Dave Shimon and I think Roxbury uh, Community Acupuncture works. After many years of back problems from my neck to my middle to my lower back lumbar and many doctors and pills and you know just trying to go to regular doctors, uh, I've done massage and chiropractic but when I finally discovered acupuncture I really finally got some relief and I was absolutely thrilled. Uh, I looked up online um, in my local community here and lo and behold here's David with a community acupuncture center that's reasonably priced, and I kind of like the fact that you're in a room with other people. Everybody just falls asleep after these uh, wonderful treatments anyway. And I'm kind of a nervous gal. There's some other issues I've had. One time David knocked a cold out of me in a day and a half, honestly, truly. So I continue to come because the feeling of well-being with acupuncture treatments, I've not had anything like that. And uh, the sleep that I have while I you know, have the needles in me is unbelievable. So I believe in acupuncture, and uh, I'm going to keep coming here because he helps me. I started in acupuncture because I was stupidly lifting a heavy rock for landscape gardening, and I still have the rock in front of my house to remind me not to do it ever again. But I was limping for a period of somewhere between three and six months, and uh, kept thinking it was going to get better, but it never did. Went to get x-rayed, nothing ever came of it. So I went to a party and there was an acupuncturist there and said, would you be interested in trying? I have some needles in the car. And I'm kind of open to just about anything. So I said, yes. And uh, half an hour later, I started to feel a little bit better already. And uh, I was tempted to go see someone and uh, continue with it. It wasn't David, but uh, I went through five treatments and my knee was perfect. Uh, so I happened to, in Maniunk Coffee Shop, there's a coffee shop down on Main Street saw his card and I was having trouble with my back so I came up here and uh, started to get treatments for my back and coming ever since. Uh, David's a great guy. I love the affordability of it because you can come and get a lot more treatments than you come with most acupuncturists so I'm sold on community acupuncture. Um, and it's, I always describe it as like somebody turning on a little engine with inside your body which is helping you heal yourself. It's, uh, it's amazing for I've had only one treatment so far, and from that one treatment, I have a whole new feeling of well-being and energy. I, mean, I had really bad hip pain. I had surgery in my hip. My rehab was terrible, and I was left with a lot of pain in the last over a year. Friday night, I had my first treatment. I had my first night without pain. And it was amazing. I, I still can't believe it. So it's coming back just a little bit, but I think that a lot of treatment and everything get to the thing. But the whole feeling of well being is wonderful. You feel the energy in your whole body.